Chapter 3091 Powerful Dragon Blood Warrior You know him? asked Long Chen. No, but I investigated the information on the Nine Flower Sect after all, you gave Jili a beating. They'll definitely want revenge, so I checked the information on their disciples. That fellow is called Zhu Yi. Those pock marks on his face are the result of cultivating a strange cultivation technique as a youth. They are burns left behind by a Dalmark possession. Not only was his face burned, but even one of his eyes is covered because it was turned blind. This injury caused him to become cruel and violent. In the Nine Flower Sect, almost everyone is afraid of him. Even their number one junior expert keeps him at a respectful distance. He is definitely a frightening existence. Once he starts fighting, he won't even care about his life. It is said that he is in the midst of awakening his primal bloodline. Although he has yet to do so, he possesses the qualifications. He is very powerful. Qin Feng will be in danger, warned by Shishi. So he hasn't awakened a primal bloodline yet? Then Qin Feng can handle him, said Long Chen. At first, he had thought that Qin Feng truly was unlucky to encounter a primal so quickly, but as soon as he heard that the opponent wasn't a primal, he relaxed. Bai Shishi shook her head, thinking that Long Chen was viewing this far too simply. Su Yu was a crazy person in combat. Anyone would definitely suffer fighting him. However, Qin Feng had set foot on the stage, and they couldn't communicate with him. She only hoped that Qin Feng would be able to notice quickly enough and admit defeat. Luo Bing and the others also grew nervous when they heard her words, so they stared closely at Qin Feng's block. Only Long Chen was not the slightest bit nervous. Just at this moment, his block lit up, and they could see a large one-eyed man covered in pock marks and wild hair facing Qin Feng. He looked crazy. After that, he opened his mouth, revealing two rows of large teeth. He looked as if he would start eating people. Facing Su Yi, Qin Feng's expression was calm. When his block lit up, he slowly reached back for his saber's hilt on his back. He bent forward slightly, one leg forward and one back. He was like a crouching leopard that had locked onto his prey. In that instant, a formless aura unfurled and he seemed to have become a different person. At that moment, heaven and earth turned silent, and time seemed to stand still. People even forgot how to breathe. An expert. Bai Shishi, Lu Mingxuan, Luo Xue, and the others were all moved. Just this posture was flawless. Even through the formation, they could sense an immense sense of pressure. They were unable to imagine just how a mid-divine flame realm disciple was able to unleash such a terrifying aura. As for Su Yi, he also sensed this, and his smile vanished, replaced with shock. He then extended his hand, and an iron rod appeared in it. The light on their block flashed three times, and the barrier separating them suddenly vanished. With a cry, Qin Feng shot forward like a bolt of lightning, his saber hacking towards Su Yi. There was nothing flashy about it. It was a simple slash, yet it contained a will to sever the heavens and split the earth. Scram, Su Yi roared furiously. Qin Feng had taken the initiative Navaloon.com. Boom. A chi wave exploded. Within the wild astral winds, Qin Feng and Su Yi both retreated. They ended up in a draw in this exchange. Luo Bing and the others cheered for Qin Feng. They had all seen it clearly. Qin Feng's saber had actually twisted midway, striking Su Yi's rod right in the middle. Su Yi was holding his rod one-handed and horizontally. Because of it, the place that Qin Feng struck was perfectly the most difficult spot for Su Yi to retain control of his rod. As a result, Su Yi was sent tumbling back several steps, while Qin Feng was not at all unbalanced. As soon as his feet touched the ground, he sprang back, attacking like a wild tempest, his saber slashing toward his opponent with even greater ferocity. Su Yi was still retreating and had yet to recover. Infuriated, he clasped his rod with both hands and thrust it at Qin Feng's chest. His rod was longer than Qin Feng's saber. Although Su Yi attacked later, due to the difference in weapons, their attacks would land at the same time. At that time, Qin Feng's saber would hack him in two, but the power contained within Su Yi's spear would also pierce Qin Feng's body and blast him apart. It was a suicidal exchange. In truth, this was Su Yi's best chance to counterattack. As soon as Qin Feng avoided his attack, he could regain the initiative. He could defend and attack effectively with this one move. However, 
He was shocked to find that Chen Feng showed no sign of dodging. The saber continued falling toward him, seemingly unstoppable. Chin Feng was actually planning on dying with him. Luo Ning cried out when she saw this. If this continued, both sides would tragically die. Boom. In the end, it was Su Yi who changed moves. He didn't want to die with Chin Feng, but the result of his hasty change in moves resulted in him being at an immense disadvantage. He was blasted straight into the martial stages barrier and bounced off. Just as he bounced back, a cold saber flashed and his head flew into the air. The sound of the saber returning to its sheath made a light noise. After that, Su Yi's corpse fell to the ground. Everyone was shocked to find that the flame of his soul had been extinguished. He was well and truly dead. Theoretically, a divine flame expert wouldn't instantly die even with their head cut off. Clearly, Chin Feng's attack was so fierce that it even blew apart his opponent's soul. Chin Feng was still expressionless, as if he had done something completely worthless. Everyone, including Bai Shishi and the others, stared at him lifelessly. It had to be known that Chin Feng had mentioned that he was nothing more than one of the most ordinary members of the Dragon Blood Legion. Above him were the more powerful squad leaders and then the terrifying captains. Above the captains was the even more monstrous Long Chen. In his mouth, he was nothing more than a minor character, but in three moves, he had killed a nine flower sex number two expert, Su Yi. They're all fearless madmen. Chin Feng is even more suicidal than Su Yi, Lu Mingxuan couldn't help shaking her head. If Su Yi hadn't changed moves at the last second, the two of them would have died together. Although it was just three moves, they truly shook people's hearts. That had been truly dangerous. At this moment, Chin Feng returned to Long Chen's side. He acted indifferently as if nothing had happened. Just then, Long Chen's tablet began to flash. Chapter 3092 Blood Kill Expert Long Chen entered the martial stage, but this time, he didn't directly attack. That was because there was a barrier splitting the stage in two to prevent people from doing a preemptive attack. He was facing a black-robed man. The latter's clothes were skin-tight, and his cloak covered his face, leaving only his eyes uncovered. When they saw his opponent, Luo Bing and the others cried out in shock. An expert from the Blood Gill Hall. They knew that they might encounter the Blood Gill Hall's experts here. After all, the Blood Gill Hall participated in every martial Dao convention. They had branches here and would always obtain some rewards. Based on everyone's guess, the Blood Gill Hall was also one of the ones profiting from the Nine Prefecture Convention. Hence, they definitely hated Long Chen, but he didn't expect to encounter them so early. In a one against one, Long Chen might be at a disadvantage, said Luo Xue a bit worriedly. This martial stage had a formation that contained every essence of heaven and earth so that everyone could unleash their full capabilities. But an assassin was most skilled at hiding and hunting prey. As soon as he hid himself, he could appear anywhere on the stage. Don't worry, a clown from the Blood Gale Hall won't trouble boss, said Chin Feng. He had absolute confidence in Long Chen, and he was full of expectations. It's too bad that the opponent is too weak, Chin Feng even sighed, as he had been hoping to see his boss fighting all out for the first time after ascending to the immortal world. Unfortunately, Long Chen's opponent was just someone from the Blood Gill Hall. Chin Feng was a bit disappointed. That expression of his left the others speechless. This fellow was a bit too arrogant, but he was truly qualified to be arrogant. Long Chen, if you have any final words, you should say them now. Your martial Dao convention ends here along with your life, said his enemy. Even though his mouth was covered, his voice still came through very clearly. Long Chen looked at him and shook his head in disgust. Someone wearing a diaper on their head shouldn't talk. I'm afraid that crap will come out. You. That person was enraged. The Blood Kill Hall's experts rarely revealed their faces to others. They were almost always masked. They were the Reaper of the Night. After being masked for so long, revealing their true face would make them feel uneasy, so they always preferred to cover up. After a long time of this convention, they started to view this as an extremely holy conduct. But Long Chan was actually provoking him with their holy custom, enraging him. Ignorant trash, you dare to blaspheme the killing god. 
the killing God will punish you. Even in death, your soul will be tossed into a bottomless hell for eternity. Bai Shishi and the others were startled. They glanced at each other questioningly. Is he really one of those terrifying assassins of the Blood Gill Hall? Wondered Luo Ning Navaloon.com. Assassins all had to be cool and collected, viewing life as nothing more than stalks of grass. They held no regard for other people's lives but also no regard for their own life. Other than killing, there was nothing worth their pursuit. Thus, assassins were cold and numb butchers. Someone was actually able to make one of these assassins so enraged? This was unbelievable. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins all have utmost faith in their killing god. Only the most loyal assassins get better training. Thus, the stronger they are, the more devout they are to the killing god. By mocking his adornment, Boss is looking down on the killing god, resulting in his anger. With his heart in chaos, let alone Boss, even I could easily crush him. But I don't have Boss's ability to enrage someone by stabbing them right in their weak point, said Jin Feng. On the Martial Heaven continent, they had encountered the Blood Gill Hall quite a bit. Even their divine daughter became one of Long Chen's women, so the Blood Gill Hall's inside information was already revealed to them. Suddenly, Bai Shishi sensed something behind her. She turned back. In the outer ring, she saw a small group of people waving and shouting. Due to the distance, she couldn't hear these people, but Bai Shishi saw some familiar faces. Our cheering squad has arrived. Bai Shishi smiled, Luo Bing and the others also turned back. As expected, by straining their eyes, they were barely able to tell that it was Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the others. This small cheering squad actually numbered in the tens of thousands. The High Firmament Academy had bought a ticket for everyone who met the conditions. This particular convention had experts like Bai Shishi, Long Chen, and young master Cheng Chuan. Hence, they were all full of anticipation. Even if it cost a fortune, they had to come watch so they could personally witness Long Chen and the others' accomplishments. Standing on the stage, Long Chen also sensed it. Seeing Luo Bing waving to him, he looked to where they were pointing and also saw Zhang Ling and the others. He then saw the tens of thousands of disciples wearing the robes of the High Firmament Academy. He waved toward them. You will personally witness as I take the champion throne. Those disciples cheering instantly grew to a new level. Long Chen could barely see them, but they were able to see Long Chen clearly. His voice was also very clear. It felt like all their cheering was worth it. Even as he waved, he didn't seem to pay attention to his stage. At this moment, the barrier vanished. Just as it vanished, his opponent also followed. Long Chen, watch out, Luo Bing couldn't help crying out in shock. But only then did she recall that her voice couldn't reach the stage. Long Chen suddenly twisted his head. Just at that moment, a dagger appeared in the air and stabbed through the spot where his head had been. If he had dodged any later, his head would have been pierced. Without looking back, Long Chen casually swung his hand behind him. As a result, the Blood Kill Hall's assassin appeared and Long Chen's palm struck him in the face. He then smashed into the barrier and the clothing covering his face exploded, revealing a completely ordinary face covered in shock. Damn, don't you think this is too casual? Don't you have other diapers? Hurry up and change yourself. If you don't, I have my own underpants you can borrow. No, I think I'll just give them to you, said Long Chen kindly. Blasphemers of the Killing God must die. The assassin was incensed and formed one-handed seals. As a result, their block suddenly turned dark, and the entire scenery changed. Long Chen found himself in a gloomy jungle. Chapter 3093 An Assassin's Weakness This is... Everyone was stunned. How did the martial stage become like this? This gloomy forest gave people a frightening chill. Blasphemer of the Killing God, you will pay the price for your foolishness. Await death with an endless terror, the assassin's sinister voice rang throughout the jungle. Long Chen punched a large tree beside him. It then fell and smashed apart some of the surrounding trees. It's actually not an illusion. Luo Bing and the others were surprised. They had originally thought that this was an illusion. Even then, an illusion on such a large scale was shocking enough, but this was actually real. Interesting, 
So you have both earth and wood elements, but so what? Without a diaper, you can cover your face, said Long Chen. Fool, this jungle is the manifestation of a priceless treasure. It is both illusory and real. No one can escape from this place. Have you not noticed that the trees you knocked down have recovered? Sneered the blood kill expert. Everyone was shocked and hastily checked. Just as he said, the trees that had been knocked down had returned to their previous appearance. An insignificant trick. If I destroyed this jungle, I'd feel like I was bullying you. Boss San likes to beat experts who think themselves powerful. Right now, you're scurrying in the dark like a rat while you wait to assassinate your target. Well, fine. Today, I'll expose your blood kill hall's so-called assassination arts and show everyone that they're not worth shit. Anyone else would feel a profound feeling of fear when tossed into this gloomy jungle, but Long Chen indifferently said, the blood kill hall's assassins don't really have much ability, they rely on sinister tricks and mental warfare, they often show off something flashy to scare people before they launch the real killing blow while their opponent's mind is in terror. Luo Bing and the others suddenly realized that Long Chen was giving them a lesson on how to counter an assassin, but even if they knew what to do, it wasn't so easy to do it in practice. If an ordinary person was tossed into a deep pool and saw only darkness, how could they not be afraid? Most importantly, there was even a hungry crocodile within this lake, and it was hidden. It could see you, but you couldn't see it. How could you not be nervous? Just as Long Chen was speaking, a dagger rushed toward Long Chen's face, but without even looking at it, Long Chen swung his hand behind him. As a result, the blood kill expert had just appeared behind him when Li was struck by Long Chen's palm. Again, he was sent flying, breaking quite a few trees on his way before smashing into a boulder and coughing up a mouthful of blood. He then slowly slid down the boulder, leaving a long line of blood. This is. Everyone was shocked. Long Chen had sent the blood kill expert flying. It was as if he was a prophet. Only after sending the assassin flying did he casually dodge the dagger flying toward him from the front. That dagger was nothing more than bait to draw his attention. The real attack came from behind. However, in this tense situation, anyone would instantly react to that dagger flying toward them. That was instinct, but if he had focused on blocking the dagger, he would have been killed by the assassin from behind. At this moment, the blood kill expert slammed his palm against the ground. His body bounced off, vanishing within the jungle. He once more hid himself. Suddenly, a dozen arrows shot out of the forest at Long Chen. They came from completely different angles, as if a dozen people were shooting. The heads of these arrows were pitch black, and there was a vague blue light as well. That was the result of the arrows being corroded by the poison. Anyone struck would lose at least half their life. However, Long Chen only sneered and turned his body. Those arrows then passed right by him. After that, he directly swung his hand. Boom. Ripples appeared in the air, and a figure showed up within those ripples. The blood kill expert let out a painful grunt as he was sent flying again. This time, he was sent flying before he could even make a move against Long Chen. He was found again. How is Long Chen doing this? Asked Luo Ning. They were unable to even spot that assassin's shadow, but Long Chen seemed to see through him. The assassin coughed up blood, feeling shocked. He also didn't know how Long Chen had found his location twice. Long Chen shook the blood off of his hand and indifferently said, Are you curious? You assassins always use the simplest methods, using the smallest price to kill your targets. In other words, you don't dare to unleash your full power because then you can keep yourself concealed in the void. Since you don't dare to use your full power, there are only a few spots you can aim for that will be fatal. To put it frankly, as long as you ignore everything in front of you and focus on your vitals, then even if you aren't a sword cultivator, your sense of danger should be able to find them. Furthermore, assassins always like to come from angles that you don't expect. But any move has its own weakness. Although attacks that come from behind are difficult to block, if you focus on the most common weak points of a person's body, it will be like you have a pair of eyes watching those spots, and you will be able to clearly sense an assassin approaching. Bullshit, the blood kill expert was enraged. As he vanished once more, Long Chen sneered and suddenly retreated to the left. He then swung his hand again. Pow. 
The assassin was slapped out of space yet again. Luo Bing and the others cried out in shock. This assassin had just been in the midst of hiding in one of Long Chen's dead angles. Pow. Now, he had just vanished when Long Chen slapped him out of space again. Long Chen was so accurate that it was unbelievable. Pow. 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 That assassin was repeatedly slapped out of space. Unable to conceal himself, now, Luo Bing and the others understood that Long Chen was doing this as a demonstration for them. He actually had a 100 perfect accuracy at finding this assassin. Heavenly Desolation Slaughter After receiving so many slaps, the blood kill expert went crazy. He howled and divine light exploded out of his body. Rather than an assassination art, he directly charged at Long Chen as a streak of light. The divine light was most intense at the tip of his dagger. Without any flashiness, he shot at Long Chen, all his power concentrated on one attack. Chapter 3094 Fights Between Experts The Blood Kill Hall's assassination arts were completely ineffective against Long Chen. No matter what movement art the assassin used, it was broken by Long Chen. His concealing techniques were like jokes. The repeated setbacks had infuriated him. As a result, he couldn't even retain the most basic calmness that an assassin needed to have, and his full power erupted as he faced Long Chen head on. Boom. Blood filled the air, and at the next moment, the jungle vanished. The martial stage returned to its original appearance. A dagger clattered to the ground, it was the same dagger as before, but its master had vanished from heaven and earth. Who would have thought that an assassin set to always be emotionless and sinister would erupt in anger and be blasted apart by a single punch? Just at that moment, Long Chen was transported back out. In the outer spectator stand, the High Firmament Academy's disciples cheered. Even in the face of such a terrifying assassin, Long Chen's victory was so easy. Big Brother Long Chen, you're really amazing, even the playing stage known as the Nine Prefecture Convention can't cover up your light, shouted Zhongling, so excited that her face was as red as an apple. Unfortunately, they were too far, and their cheers couldn't reach Long Chen and the others. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, I don't understand, that assassin clearly knew that you were waiting for him to act according to his normal patterns, why didn't he attack from a different angle? asked Lu Oshua. The others also looked at him, waiting for his answer. This was also a question in their minds. This assassin was truly foolish, no? He could have simply attacked from a different angle. It's because assassins are trained from the start to attack other people's dead angles. After all the drilling, it becomes a reflex. They can find a person's dead angles with their eyes closed to launch a killing blow. So even if he knew what I was doing, he couldn't stop himself. The moment he concealed himself and prepared to attack, he immediately reacted to the dead angle. At that moment, I immediately sensed it. It's like cheating in hide-and-seek. As soon as he intended to attack me, I sensed it. If it wasn't to teach you a lesson, I'd have killed him at the start, said Long Chen. There's such a thing, everyone was stunned. Unlike Long Chen, who was far too familiar with the Blood Gill Hall, they didn't know that this was the first lesson for the Blood Gill Hall's initiates. After the first round ended, 10,000 people were reduced to 5,000. The second round would then start after an hour's rest. This time, Long Chen was in the first wave. Upon entering the martial stage, he saw that his opponent was from the Nine Flower Sect, and that disciple directly admitted defeat without another word upon seeing him, afraid that Long Chen would kill him. Due to Ji Li, the Nine Flower Sect and the High Firmament Academy's relationship was no longer good. They had also joined the camp opposing the High Firmament Academy. Thus, while this person did have some confidence in his own power, he didn't dare to risk his life. Long Chen returned just like that. Bai Shishi and the others went in one after another. Unexpectedly, Luo Ning also faced someone from the Blood Gill Hall. After Long Chen's lesson, her focus was on her dead angles, so she easily grasped the location of her opponent as if she could see him. That assassin repeatedly switched techniques for concealing himself but was always found by Luo Ning. It seemed that Luo Ning was also quite mischievous. Even though she had clearly grasped where he was, 
she pretended to lose track of him every time he switched his technique. There were quite a few times where she narrowly avoided being killed. Just as the assassin's guard started to drop and he snuck closer to Luo Ning, she randomly swung her sword, cutting off half of his head. He died. Luo Ning's display drew out quite a bit of laughter. She was actually such a talented actress that this assassin didn't even realize how he died. Long Chen was also speechless. The assassin that Luo Ning encountered was actually a bit stronger than the one that he had encountered. If the two assassins were fighting each other directly, it was hard to say who would be two. However, for assassins, fighting directly was a kind of insult to themselves. They refused to do such a thing unless they had no more choice. It really was easy. I didn't think that the Blood Gale Hall's assassins could be killed so easily. Luo Ning came back in high spirits. It was then Chen Fang's turn. His opponent was only of average power, so he directly defeated him in one move. But Chen Feng had mercy and didn't injure him. On the other hand, Luo Bing faced a tough opponent. They exchanged dozens of blows before Luo Bing managed to defeat him. The others also felt that their opponents were growing stronger. The second round ended, whittling 5,000 experts down to 2,500. This rate of elimination was rather frightening. The remaining battles will probably be clashes between experts. You can no longer get lucky with weak opponents, said Lu Mingxuan. The third round quickly then started, and everyone focused on themselves, not daring to be careless. Even the spectators grew nervous because the battles were only growing increasingly intense. At this time, the number of eliminated people had reached a certain point, so the blocks on the martial stage grew larger. They were no longer as concentrated as before. Now it was possible to see everyone clearly. As the lot spun, countless people's hearts pounded hard in their chests. Everyone was hoping for a slightly weaker opponent. The next lots were quickly drawn, and Long Chan checked his tablet. He didn't recognize the name of his opponent or the sect they came from, so it wasn't an enemy. From the third round on, the tablets no longer just listed the name of their opponent, but also listed the power from which they came. Interesting, Bai Shishi smiled slightly as she looked at her tablet. Long Chen snuck a look. Dark Tiger Alliance, Lu Xia Uxin. Is that the fellow who was silently watching while I beat up their alliance head, that half-bald fellow? asked Long Chen. Yes, I heard he's the Dark Tiger Alliance's secret weapon for getting into the top hundred. His strength has never been made public, but he's probably a primal, said Bai Shishi. That really is interesting. Long Chen also smiled, but he wasn't worried at all. He was very clear on just how powerful Bai Shishi was. Boss, let me show you something even more interesting. Chen Feng showed him his own tablet. Chu Jin, Shen Prefecture's Chu family. Seeing that name shocked everyone. Chapter 3095 Chin Feng vs. Chu Jen. Crap, Chu Jen is a primal. Luo Su's expression changed. She looked at Chin Feng and hesitated. She wanted to tell him to just abandon the match, but she knew that he was a very prideful existence. If she actually said something, Chin Feng would probably be too prideful to give up. Long Chen also couldn't help frowning. Chin Feng's luck was really bad. However, it was already the third round of eliminations, so there were only a few people left. Encountering a primal was unavoidable. Long Chen looked at him. How many moves? Chen Feng hesitated. I suppose ten. Long Chen shook his head. That's too many. At most, five. If you cannot slay him in five moves, you will no longer have a chance. What? Lu Mingxuan and the others were stunned. Rather than advising Chen Feng to give up, Long Chen was telling him to win within five moves, win against a primal. How was that possible? Just at that moment, Chen Feng's tablet began flashing. He smiled slightly. Boss, I'm going. After that, Chen Feng vanished, appearing on the martial stage. He was actually amongst the first. Long Chen, you actually sent him to fight Chu Chen. Your heart really is big, Luo Ning couldn't help shaking her head. Long Chen said, 
Don't judge a person's power by the cultivation base that you see. That's very dangerous. Just watch, and you will see what a true battle is. A warrior that has gone through the baptism of blood and fire is definitely not what you imagine. Luo Bing and the others couldn't help being curious. It seemed that Long Chen had just as much confidence in Qin Feng as Qin Feng had in Long Chen. Just at this moment, the opponent arrived. Unexpectedly, Chu Zhen's appearance was rather startling. Chu Yang and Chu Kuang might have been very hateful, but their looks had been above average. On the other hand, Chu Zhen's face was particularly long, like a donkey's face. His forehead was both flat and pointed, and even his jaw was pointed. It gave people an urge to find a hammer and smash his head a few times to flatten it a bit. Other than that, he had a long scar on his face that was perfectly placed so that with another slash of a blade, there would be a perfect X scar on his face. Your father and mother really were lazy. Why not put in the work instead of doing it half-heartedly? I really don't get the point of that scar, Lu Mingzuin muttered to herself. Luo Bing and the others didn't know what she was saying, but considering her character, they understood that she was always dirty. It's probably that the blade went too deep during the caesarean section, said Long Chen casually. This sudden turn caught them off guard, and a few chuckles escaped by Shishi and the others. It's too bad that they can't hear you on the martial stage, or just that would be enough to make Chu Zhen die of anger. Then Chin Feng could easily win, said Luo Xue. Shh, they're talking, Luo Bing pointed. When Chu Zhen appeared, he smiled slightly at Chin Feng. Little fellow, I heard that you are Long Chen's subordinate, then today is the day of your death. Every single movement within Silver Moon City was under the eyes of the hosts. The Chu family was enemies with the academy, and so they naturally sent people to keep an eye on Long Chen and the others. Investigating this newcomer, Chin Feng, was simple. Please don't smile, it's really ugly. To use my boss's words, when your parents birthed you, did they make a mistake? Did they lose the baby and end up raising the placenta? Asked Chin Feng. Lu Mingzuan burst into laughter, lacking the slightest image of a lady. Lu Oning also laughed until she cried. Brother San, did you really say such a thing? Asked Niu Kangayan, also laughing. Long Chen was speechless. He had cursed so many people in this lifetime. How could he remember them all? This fellow Chin Feng, why did he have to drag him into this? Chu Zhen's long face instantly twisted with killing intent. Brat, I'll make sure you suffer first. Just at this moment, their block began to flash, indicating that battle was imminent. Divine light then flowed out of Chu Zhen's sinister smile. He was like a tiger pondering how to torture his prey. Chin Feng took a deep breath and closed his eyes. He then grasped his saber on his back. At this moment, blood-colored marks began to appear on his body. They seemed like scales. As the barrier between them disappeared, Chu Zhen instantly vanished reappearing right in front of Chen Feng. So fast, Luo Bing and the others were shocked by this speed. At some point, a red claw casing had appeared on his hand. Even through the martial stage, they could sense its sharpness. Those claws unleashed flame energy as they tore through the air, looking as if they would ignite the void. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Those flames had Lord Brahma's aura. As expected, the Chu family's people were Lord Brahma's dogs. All their cultivation techniques were related to him. This once more proved his guess that the Chu family's resurgence was thanks to Lord Brahma's support. The instant Chu Zhen's sharp attack fell, Chen Feng's saber also slashed through the air. It wasn't aimed at the claws but at Chu Zhen's waist. As the saber slashed through the air, a faint dragon cry could be heard that shook the entire stage. Chu Zhen's expression changed. He had originally been planning on capturing Chen Feng in an instant and making him beg for a life and then eventually beg for death. He had been unable to sense any threat from him, but the instant that this attack came, his hair stood on end. A sensation of mortal danger caused him to feel a chill. Originally, he had thought that his protective layer of divine light should be enough. That would show Chen Feng just how minuscule he was in comparison. But he was shocked to find that there was no way this protective divine light could stop Chen Feng's attack. If it landed, he would be cut in two. Boom. Chu Zhen managed to block Chen Feng's saber with his claws. Sparks flew and the martial stage shuddered. At that moment, 
Chen Feng's blood chi unfurled and the marks on his body grew brighter. Dragon blood battle armor. Chin Feng roared and his aura transformed, becoming wild, domineering, and bloodthirsty. In that instant, he seemed to become a different person, causing everyone to jump in shock. Chapter 3096 by Shishi Goes Out Chin Feng's dragon scales unleashed a wild aura that gave people a sense of immense pressure even through the formation. At this moment, Chu Jen had just blocked Chin Feng's saber when he felt an explosion of power come from the saber, waves of power then unfurled. As a result, the martial stage beneath his feet cracked, he was pushed back, leaving two long gutters on the stage. Chu Jen was shocked. His aura had actually been suppressed by Chin Feng. In his carelessness, he had given up the initiative. Boom. Chu Zhen's aura suddenly erupted and divine light appeared behind him. After that, a manifestation appeared. Chu Zhen really has awakened his primal manifestation, exclaimed Liu Mingxuan. Boom. The ground beneath him crumbled. A ripple then spread through the ground, and he instantly stopped being blown back. Lifting his leg, he sent a kick at Chin Feng's abdomen. Chin Feng snorted and pushed himself away with his saber, retreating half a step and avoiding the kick. Not good, Bai Shishi and the other's expressions changed. It's a feint, Luo Shu also cried out. The instant Chin Feng dodged the kick, countless runes appeared on Chu Zhen's arms. This was his true killing blow. Die, Chu Zhen smiled sinisterly, when both his arms glowed. Immense power erupted from his palms. Chu Zhen was an expert of the Chu family. Whether it was his personal power or his combat skills, they were all very powerful. Even though he appeared furious, he still retained his calm and didn't even summon his entire manifestation. This way, his opponents wouldn't be able to see his true power. Despite that, he was confident that it could wipe out anyone that wasn't a primal. However, just then, Chen Feng's saber lit up. Blazing like the sun, Chu Zhen was shocked to find that his explosive power was absorbed by that saber without leaving a drop. Not good, Chu Zhen's expression completely changed. At this moment, Chen Feng's saber spun toward his neck at a strange angle, as quick as lightning. The next second, blood splashed and Chen Feng's saber exploded into countless fragments that flew through the air. Chen Feng's own body spun seven or eight times through the air before falling. As for what he was holding, all he had was the hilt of a saber. Everyone stared in shock at Chu Zhen. They saw layers of divine runes had formed a protective barrier around Chu Zhen's neck. However, a large cut had been made into his barrier, and blood gushed out of his neck. The wound was so deep that it was possible to see bone. His neck was only a bit away from being completely severed. Luo Bing and the others gasped. Only after recovering from their shock did they realize that Chen Feng had known about Chu Zhen's feint from the start and had planned to use a clever technique to absorb his power and return it. This could be considered using a person's power to defeat them. He was using Chu Zhen's power against him. Regretfully, Chen Feng's saber was too low in quality to contain that power and hadn't managed to break through his full defenses before exploding. Otherwise, Chu Zhen's head would have been cut off. It was truly a pity. At the same time as they cried out regretfully for Chin Feng, they were profoundly shaken by him. Such perfect scheming was truly terrifying. Luo Xue couldn't help looking at Long Chen, she saw that he was still calm, and it seemed that he didn't feel much regret. Luo Xue found it hard to imagine that Chin Feng was telling the truth and that he really was nothing more than an ordinary member of the Dragon Blood Legion. If that was the case, just how terrifying was the Dragon Blood Legion? Navaloon.com CM. You've won. Chin Feng shook his head and clenched his tablet. He was then instantly sent out, not giving Chu Jin another chance to attack him. What a pity. You were just a bit off. If I had known earlier, I'd have gotten you a better weapon, said Bai Ziaol indignantly. In terms of power, I'm quite a bit off from him. A defeat is normal. He didn't want to expose too much of his power, so he was holding back, which was the only reason I had a chance to kill him. But even if I had killed him, I would have relied on coincidence, not true power, said Chin Feng indifferently. 
Hearing that, Luo Xue and the others nodded in admiration. His magnanimity and spirit were truly admirable. This was a true expert. Long Chen also nodded inside. It had been a long time since Qin Feng was with the Dragon Blood Legion, but all those lessons remained firmly in his heart. Qin Feng's display was very satisfactory, and there was nothing wrong with his fundamentals. As for the difference in realms, he could quickly help him make up for it. Furthermore, not only was he losing in the cultivation base, but he also had an inferior weapon. Despite that, he had still managed to go this far. No one looked down on him for this defeat. On the other hand, the victor, Chu Jin, had an ugly expression. Although he had won, the countless strange gazes he felt on him infuriated him. Although that wound was nothing to him and could be quickly healed, he had lost face in this battle. Not bad, praised Long Chen. Actually, I could have done better, said Qin Feng after a moment's thought. No, you did very well. You used your dragon blood power to absorb his power. That's already all you could do. The reason your weapon exploded was not just because of its quality, but also because his energy was of the flame element, which made it difficult to turn it back on him. Furthermore, the worst part was that your realm is lacking. If you also reached the ninth or stage, you would have had a 90% chance of killing him just now. But none of that is important. The most admirable thing is your heart. It is as steady as a mountain. The moment your saber exploded, you still had a chance to kill him, but you chose to give up. In the face of such immense bait, you still chose to retreat. That's what makes me happiest, said Long Chen. Being praised by Long Chen made Qin Feng actually feel a bit awkward. Boss, it seems that in the lower plane, you've never praised us like this about the Marshal Dao. Maybe it's because we're all too foolish that Brother Sen is feeling emotional, said Miu Kangayan with a smile. Through Qin Feng, she finally learned that the one called Yu Zifen was the fourth captain of the Dragon Blood Legion. Qin Feng's arrival made her fiercely curious about the Dragon Blood Legion. Although Qin Feng had been defeated, he didn't seem to view this as any setback. For by Xiao, Qin Feng was now the one he worshipped the most after Long Chen. Suddenly, Bai Shishi's tablet began to flash, so everyone was shaken. It was finally Bai Shishi's turn to go out. Beat out that fellow's egg yolks, cheered Lu Mingxuan, resulting in everyone else rolling their eyes. Chapter 3097 Dark Tiger Power Bai Shishi was sent to the martial stage, appearing like a goddess descended from the heavens. Just by standing there, she already drew attention. It was as if her presence was making this world more beautiful. Even within the Nine Prefecture Convention where beauties were as common as the clouds, Bai Shishi stood out. She was the brightest star that made all others appear dim. Long Chen heard countless cries throughout the stands. With the number of blocks being reduced, it was easier for people to spot Bai Shishi. Bai Shishi's beauty left no room for doubt, and she also possessed an innate grandeur that made others adore her, but it also made them afraid of getting close for fear of blaspheming her. There was no way to describe this air. Facing Bai Shishi was the Dark Tiger Alliance's number one expert, Lu Xiaoxin. When Long Chen had beaten up the Alliance head outside the city, Lu Xiaoxin had simply watched. He hadn't said anything as if he was indifferent to anything. Now that he was facing Bai Shishi, his gaze was a bit complicated. Why isn't it Long Chen? Even if it was Long Chen, it would mean nothing. He doesn't like men, said Bai Shishi indifferently, Novaloon.com. Luo Xue and the others were stunned. They hadn't expected that the cold and aloof Bai Shishi would actually say such a thing. They couldn't believe their ears. As for Long Chen, he almost coughed up blood. He looked at Liu Mingxuan with a disdainful expression. This dirty girl had even infected Bai Shishi. Seeing him look at her, Liu Mingxuan laughed, revealing her white teeth. She then gave Long Chen a gesture of victory, like an adorable devil. On the stage, Lu Xiaoxin didn't even understand Bai Shishi's meaning. Thinking that she didn't understand him, he said, If it was Long Chen, I could fight all out and kill him. I don't have much feeling for the Dark Tiger Alliance, but humiliating the Alliance head is also humiliating me. Those who have insulted me have all died. Kill Long Chen. Bai Shishi suddenly smiled. She didn't say anything further, 
but that smile contained a touch of scorn. After that, golden wounds appeared around by Shishi, and the ground beneath her feet began to crack. Within those cracks, people could see golden light. Seeing that golden light, everyone that was paying attention to her cried out in shock. Through those cracks, they could see that everything underground was golden or it was as if they were seeing a world of gold. The golden light then illuminated by Shishi, and combined with the runes swirling around her, she appeared even more beautiful, like a fairy that had walked out of a dream. What pure metal energy! This isn't bloodline power but pure metal energy, Long Chen was shocked. Bai Shishi's metal energy had grown even more terrifying, and he didn't know what Bai Shishi's mother had done. As their block began to flash, the fight was about to commence. Feeling shocked by Bai Shishi's golden light, Lu Xioxen hastily formed ant seals. Boom! As a result, divine light quivered behind Lu Xioxen. A giant black figure then appeared behind him, and black energy wrapped around his body. His entire aura became dark and sinister. Dark energy, Chen Feng couldn't help crying out in shock. This was an extremely rare kind of energy, one that he had only heard of in stories. It is not dark energy, this is a qi that comes from the netherworld. It should be considered ancient heroic spirit qi, said Long Chen. Long Chen was extremely sensitive to the netherworld qi due to his connection with Lang Yuan and Ming Kang Ayu. Hence, he instantly recognized this aura. Luo Xuan nodded. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is truly erudite. This truly isn't dark energy but a kind of sacrificed spirit chi. The Dark Tiger Alliance worships the Dark Tiger race's skeleton, and it is said that they have the blessing of the Dark Tiger race and a divine energy inheritance. The power that Lu Xioxen has activated should be considered Dark Tiger energy. His bloodline was originally of a dark element, which perfectly suits the Dark Tiger energy. That's why when he activates his primal manifestation, the Dark Tiger energy he unleashes is shocking. Just then, a roar split the air. Right now, Lu Xioxen's eyes had turned scarlet, and his body was covered in black fur also. Black chi swelled out of him. When the dark figure in his manifestation roared, it shook people's souls. The dark tiger is an ancient divine beast that possesses immense spiritual strength. Even when its body dies, its soul is not extinguished. With faith energy, it can continue to live forever. The ancient records really are true. This voice is something that pierces through the river of time. It truly possesses an ancient aura. Long Chen nodded as he watched Lu Xioxen. The world was truly large and filled with marvels. Many unbelievable things were written in ancient records, and now that he was truly seeing one of those things, he had no choice but to believe it. Just then, the barrier vanished and the battle officially started. Lu Xioxen charged forward, a bone blade appearing in his hand. The bone blade was pure white, looking like an elephant tusk, but when he slashed it, stripes appeared on it like a tiger stripes. Those stripes were black. When that saber fell, it seemed as if heaven and earth were going to be cut in two. That was a terrifying aura. Luo Xue and the others hadn't expected the Dark Tiger Alliance to have produced such a terrifying disciple. He was actually capable of summoning the power of the ancient Dark Tiger. Their hearts clenched for Bai Shishi. The High Firmament Academy's disciples also fell tense. They clenched their fists so tightly as if they felt that clenching their fists could help Bai Shishi. However, in the face of this terrifying attack, Bai Shishi's expression was calm. She slowly raised her hand. Just like that, she awaited the bone blade. This movement caused countless shocked cries to ring out. Bai Shishi was receiving the bone blade barehanded. Boom! When the bone blade reached Bai Shishi's hand, blinding light exploded. It was too blinding for people to even keep their eyes open. Golden light brighter than the sun was transmitting through the formation and covering the entire island. Everyone lost their sight. However, their eyes quickly adjusted and the world slowly grew clear once more. Within the endless golden light, they saw Bai Shishi's beautiful figure. What? When they saw the situation on the martial stage, the entire crowd let out a shocked cry in unison. Chapter 3098 Catching 1 Bai Shishi still had a single hand out, however, 
her hand had now turned golden as if it was made of pure gold. The bone blade was caught solidly in her hand, with her golden dress fluttered around her, she was like a golden goddess, sacred and touchable. As for Lu Zioxin, the veins on his arms throbbed as he tried to pull back his blade, but it was ineffective. After that, the dark tiger's roar came from within his manifestation, shaking the sky. The martial stage shuddered and seemed on the verge of collapse. Yet, no matter what he did, that bone blade seemed to have been stuck to Bai Shishi's hand, and he couldn't even shake it. Suddenly, Bai Shishi's hand flashed and golden liquid flowed out of her palm. The bone blade was slowly encased, turning golden. You! Lu Oxen was shocked. He then hastily let go of his blade and retreated. He had only just retreated when the golden liquid covered the entire blade. It then dissolved, the bone blade vanishing just like that. As a result, Lu Oxen coughed up a mouthful of blood. That bone blade was connected to his soul, so its destruction also injured him. He was infuriated. That bone blade was extremely important to him. All of a sudden, his arms shook, and two black tiger heads appeared on his fists. Black Chi then erupted out of him like a flame devouring the heavens. Don't force me to kill you, Bai Shishi simply stood there. It looked as if golden lava was flowing out of the ground beneath her. However, her gaze was completely apathetic. Lu Oxen seemed to be accumulating power for an even more terrifying attack. However, when Bai Shishi said this, his expression once more changed. In that instant, a dense feeling of death filled him. He could already smell death. That feeling was incredibly intense. For a moment, he didn't dare to move nor continue unleashing his power, but he was also unwilling to simply stop here. Seeing him caught in such an awkward state, Long Chen shook his head. This fellow still doesn't understand Bai Shishi's meaning. There's a problem with his head. Bai Shishi had destroyed his bone blade as a warning. If she had only forced him back, he would definitely continue fighting. But by destroying the bone blade, she hoped for him to realize the difference in power and give up. This was only the third round of this stage, and Bai Shishi didn't want to show off her power. However, if Lu Oxen still didn't retreat, then Bai Shishi would be forced to kill him with one of her trump cards, slaying him in the simplest, most explosive method so that he was dead in an instant. A person's trump cards were extremely important in the Nine Prefecture Convention. Once they were exposed, the other side would be prepared, and the trump cards would be less effective. Now, Bai Shishi looked at Lu Oxen, and Lu Oxen looked back at Bai Shishi. A vein throbbed on his forehead as hesitation filled his eyes. He was no fool. He knew what Bai Shishi was saying. If Bai Shishi was forced to reveal a trump card because of him, she would make sure he was dead. Fight? He had no confidence. The sense of danger that Bai Shishi gave him was too strong. Give up? He was unwilling. Although he had lost his bone blade, he had many more powerful moves that he had yet to use. Perhaps there was a chance of victory? He was caught in a difficult situation, with countless experts watching. If he simply retreated like this, he would be turned into a laughing stock. Seconds passed and then minutes. Bai Shishi gradually lost her patience. At this moment, she formed one-handed seals, and a diagram appeared beneath her feet. When that diagram appeared, Lu Oxen's expression changed. He then coldly said, Whatever, I only have a grudge with Long Chen. I'll let you off this time. Go back and tell Long Chen that I will take his head. After saying that, he directly admitted defeat and was sent out of the martial stage, causing an uproar. No way, he really admitted defeat. That's the number one expert of the Dark Tiger Alliance, a primal. He admitted defeat just like that. What is wrong with him? How can he just admit defeat on this kind of stage? Countless people cursed him, because the clash between Bai Shishi and Lu Oxen was the first fight in the Nine Prefecture Convention between two supreme experts. One was the Dark Tiger Alliance's number one expert, and the other was the High Firmament Academy's number one expert. The audience had all been full of expectation for a world-shaking fight. Instead, they got a fight that had a strong start but a weak finish. However, some of them saw the truth. They had all seen Lu Oxen's struggles. When Bai Shishi's diagram appeared, he directly admitted defeat. That was very curious. 
It's too bad. That diagram only appeared for an instant. Who knows what's happened? As countless people cursed and guessed, Bai Shishi returned to her spot. Lu Mingxuan, Lu Xue, and the others all congratulated her. As for the High Firmament Academy's disciples on the stands, they let out heaven-shaking cheers. With just one move, Bai Shishi scared off the Dark Tiger Alliance's number one expert and made him admit defeat. That was glorious. Bai Shishi had managed to scare off her opponent, but in the next two battles, Luo Bing and Luo Ning regretfully lost to their opponents. Although their opponents weren't criminals, they were truly powerful. Even after unleashing all their power, the two of them were still defeated. They were simply outmatched, and there was nothing to be done about it. Luo Ning was a bit upset at her defeat, but fortunately, Luo Bing was good at comforting her. With their power, just being able to get to this spot was lucky. Luo Xue and Luo Cheng also faced very powerful opponents, but the two of them were supreme experts sent by the Luo family specifically to counter the four from the Chu family. They didn't encounter criminals, and so they easily defeated their opponents. Miu Qingyan also won her fight, but it was a narrow victory. If it wasn't for the fact that her opponent didn't dare to take the risk in a direct exchange, Miu Qingyan would have been the one to lose. In terms of power, the other side was clearly above her. Miu Qingyan ended up having to pay quite the price to win. She had used up a great deal of her energy, so she probably wouldn't be able to continue fighting. As for Long Chen, his opponent was powerful. Long Chen received 10 of his strongest attacks. Seeing Long Chen only defend and not attack, his opponent realized just how big the difference in power was. As he was unable to even shake Long Chen, knowing that Long Chen had been merciful, he admitted defeat after 10 moves. The third round ended there. Other than Luo Bing and Luo Ning, everyone managed to pass to the next round. After one hour of rest, the lots were rolled once more. This time, when Long Chen saw his opponent, a gratified smile appeared on his face. The name written on his tablet was Chu Gong. He, I've caught one, Long Chen smiled. He had been waiting a long time. Chapter 3099 by Zion All Fights. After this round, the top 500 will be decided. The upcoming fights will be very difficult. They will mostly be primals or those qualified to become primals, sighed Mu Qingyan. The name on her tablet was that of a primal, and it crushed any wishful thinking she had. In the last fight, she had used up almost all her power, and she had only recovered to 60% now. Against a primal, she had no hope. Thus, Long Chen told her to abandon her match. Although she was a bit unwilling, she listened. She didn't take that risk. I'm also against a primal. Boss, I'm a bit nervous, said Bai Ziaol. He was the luckiest one out of all of them. He hadn't encountered any tough opponents all the way until now. Although you haven't awakened a primal bloodline, your talent isn't inferior to anyone. I expect you to get into the top 16. Can you grow up a little? Long Chen eyed Bai Ziaol. Bai Ziaol was still too childish, and his path before this was too smooth. Now that he suddenly encountered a primal, he was panicking a bit. Moreover, his opponent was quite vicious. All his previous opponents were either killed or crippled, so Bai Ziaol was a bit afraid. Don't worry, this fellow has several weaknesses. Come over here and I'll teach you. Chen Feng beckoned to Bai Ziaol. After his defeat, he had been watching the entire martial stage with interest. Every dragon blood warrior had been led through countless battles by Long Chen, so they had immense combat experience. Chin Feng's sharp vision allowed him to instantly see an opponent's weaknesses. Big sister Luo Qing, your opponent is actually Chu Zhen. Luo Ning looked at Luo Qing's tablet and was instantly full of apprehension. The Luo family and the Chu family were mortal enemies. If they encountered each other here, it would be a battle to the death. Only one of them would walk out of the martial stage alive. Either Luo Qing or Chu Zhen would be dying. Hence, everyone's heart clenched. Although they knew that the Luo family had come here specifically to counter the Chu family, now that they encountered each other, it still made people nervous. No need to worry. I have confidence in my own power, said Luo Qing. Long Chen smiled. 
If Miss Luo Ching can eliminate Chu Jin, then the Chu family's power will be halved. Halved, Long Chen, Yu, Luo Xue and the others were confused until Long Chen revealed his own tablet. Long Chen, I'll share a few of the Chu family's disciples' techniques, said Luo Xue. Thank you, but there's no need, it's not my ego, but I never investigate my opponents like that, that's my habit, said Long Chen. These words truly were a bit egotistical, but this was truly his habit, it was a principle he had understood after many years, just as the old man had said, in front of absolute power, all schemes were nonsense. If you did investigate your opponent and come up with a strategy against them, it showed that you lacked confidence in your own skills, only people who lacked confidence in themselves would do such a thing. The old man had told him that the moment he investigated his opponents, he had fallen to a disadvantage, this was not the true Marshall Dao. If you lacked confidence in yourself, you should focus on raising your power and not focusing on using schemes. Forming a habit of such a thing would create a dependence on schemes to win. By that point, it would be too late. The path of cultivation was like rowing a boat upstream. There were no shortcuts. When you wasted time considering how to beat your opponent, your speed of advancement would drop. And by the time you figured out your plan, those in the same generation as you would have long since surpassed you. Back then, Long Chen had felt the old man's principles to not be entirely correct, but after the ultimate battle of the Martial Heaven Continent, he felt his words to truly be of the utmost wisdom. Looking back, if he had not used little tricks and schemes to handle his problems and instead used the sense of danger and difficulty as the key to unlocking his potential, perhaps the ending of the Martial Heaven Continent's battle would have been different. Thus, after ascending, he had no intention of going back to that path. Using little schemes against the weak was nothing more than amusement for himself. Against true experts, crafty plots were ultimately nothing more than worthless jokes. After experiencing that pain, he corrected his cultivation attitude. Now, he would face his challenges directly. Just at that moment, Bai Ziaol's tablet began to flash. He was part of the first group fighting. Chin Feng hadn't even finished teaching him how to fight his opponent when it started, so Bai Ziaol instantly grew nervous. Seeing that, Chin Feng whispered a few things into his ears. He was barely done when Bai Ziaol was directly transported to the martial stage. Once Bai Ziaol was sent in, Long Chen looked at Bai Shishi curiously. Are you worried about this little brother of yours? Don't be stupid. In this world, I'm only concerned about myself said by Shishi coldly Navaloon.com. Long Chen smiled slightly and didn't say anything. In the instant that Bai Ziaol was sent in, she clenched her fists slightly. He had just happened to see the subtle change in her expression. Seeing him smile like that as if he was seeing through her, Bai Shishi turned frosty. I really hate people who think themselves smart. I was never planning on having you like me, so it's fine, Long Chen shrugged. Stop fighting, Ziaol is starting. How are you in the mood for this nonsense? Even Lu Mingxuan couldn't bear watching their petty squabble and interrupted them. Long Chen then focused on Bai Ziaol. His opponent was a fierce looking butcher. That expert possessed a tyrannical air, and the killing intent in his eyes seemed to almost condense into a solid form. Just looking at him gave others chills. Bai Ziaol was clearly nervous, although he was talented. He had never killed anyone in his lifetime. Because of it, that person's killing intent was very effective against him. Ziaol is at a disadvantage against his opponent's experience. I wonder if he will be able to beat his opponent, said Liu Mingxuan worriedly. What he needs to do right now isn't beating his opponent but the fear in his heart. If he can do that, the rest will be no problem, said Long Chen. Long Chen was very clear on Bai Ziaol's potential. If he activated the three flower pupils to their full power, even gods and devils would shake. That was a divine art passed down from an incredibly ancient time, and it surpassed other people's imagination. Just at this moment, the martial stage shook and the barrier vanished. The barrier had just vanished when a curved blade slashed through the air. The next moment, blood splashed and Bai Ziaol's body was cut apart. Ziaol, 